Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Well, yeah, this is the morning where our project will start. We'll start taking this uh, side fairing off of here. And it kind of, you almost need two hands <laughs> because it keeps hooking the one side in, right? So there we go. So what we're going to do is unhook this and then we can usually take this side fairing out of there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that over here. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, we'll start taking everything apart. Yeah, so what our goal is to uh, take replace this whole box right here, eh? This whole box we're gonna replace. And that's where my air horns are. I know it was kind of dark there last time when I showed you guys, so they're still nicely tight on there, so that's awesome. So let's get to it. Let's get our day started. And just like that, we have already taken our batteries out, taken our box out. These are the old batteries. I didn't realize that these were also Volvo batteries. I didn't even know that. And almost looks like these are 800 cranking amps. I think that's what they are. The other ones that I got are like 730 cranking amps. So I'm I'm thinking that's what it is anyways not 100% sure but let's go take a look yeah, let's go take a look but they are also Volvo batteries and that's what the guys were saying that these are the ones that uh, that uh, Volvo comes now with not 100% sure it's got a 900 CA on there and a 730 there but I think it's 730 cranking amp. So it might be a little less cranking amp, but they're still supposed to be super good. So let's go ahead and take a look at my old box. I haven't shown you guys that. Or was my old box. <laughs> let's take a look, guys. This is it. <laughs> this is my old battery box, guys. Look at that, how much rust we had gotten through there. I had put some... Uh, foam spray on there a while back ago right here this is where the cables come through and i didn't want them to be cut through the wires right so yeah that's a good reason to replace the battery box isn't it <laughs> i think so so let's get to it gotta cut holes in the bottom here so that way the uh, bolts can uh, run through there so uh, we can screw the batteries down alrighty guys I bet you by now somebody's already left a comment you should be wearing safety glasses safety number one <laughs> yeah so we got our cutting tool out here and uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, cut a hole into here so let's get to it <laughs> so what we got here is a hose it's just a airline hose a rubber hose 
what we do with that is we cut it up in the middle and then we just put it in there so that way the uh, electrical lines aren't going to be cut we're going to show you here in a second how we do this there we go almost through and that is true so Open this up. Show it in there. I know my box didn't quite dry as good as I wanted it, but there we go. Now you can see it's in there. And that will protect the uh, electrical lines from being cut. So let's do this side here as well. Gonna be up to there. in there. Let's see this side. Yeah, I know my paint isn't really dry, but whatever. Nothing I can really do about it. <coughs> it doesn't really want to dry today and yesterday. I already painted it yesterday afternoon. So, alrighty guys, we got these holes cut through here, so that way uh, when we put our uh, bolts through there, in order to uh, like these hooks right here, they go in here, hook them in like that, and then that's how you tie down your batteries, so that way they can go through there. So let's give this a try and see if that works. There you go guys, we got our box in there, look at that, that's what I was referring to earlier about them hoses, put them across over the edges there. And that way uh, your wires won't be cut. But I think everything worked out perfectly. Look at that. We got everything nicely in here, the box. The box itself isn't really screwed down onto anything because it's basically hold on by these, right? Once the batteries are in there and everything, so then and we're good to go. So what a project, eh? Alrighty guys, as you can see, we got the batteries all back in here. The brand new one looks nice with that black color and these are the old connectors these are the ones that are going over the batteries like this and as you can see they're really green and all beat up already so we bought new ones look at that we got a red one and a black one so we should have no issue no with proper connections and all of that right so uh we should be ready for winter i think yeah and i also almost forgot we got this volvo flex film or whatever they call it it's like for connections so what we do is we spray that right onto there and stuff like that wherever the connections go so that way the corrosion won't get to it so uh, let's go ahead and hook everything up guys alrighty guys we got these batteries all hooked up as you can see and you can actually hear my APU unit charging these batteries up now so that's one nice thing about having an APU unit you can go ahead and charge these things all up so as you can see, we got it all hooked up. Uh, I haven't really sprayed any uh, any connection protection stuff on there. I will do that in a little bit because last week when I hooked up my air horns, I didn't have the connections to hook up to uh, to be able to, you know, like have a regular hookup like you see right here. So what we're going to do right now is we got to take these batteries back yet. And then we get uh, $25 a battery back for them from the place where I bought these batteries from and then I'm gonna get me those proper connections and put the proper connections on there I forgot to do that last week and it's kind of on a last minute deal when we did all of this here so uh, so yeah we'll have our train horns working again and all of that good stuff and then I'll spray that uh, 
connection protection stuff on there and then uh, we'll be all good to go so uh, let's go ahead and take these batteries back clean everything up a little bit over here and then uh, we'll uh, we'll get that all hooked up properly that's the nice thing about having an APU eh? you can just uh, that thing senses it when the batteries are a little bit low and it can just go ahead and charge them right up right I mean my batteries were at 11.9 volt so it's going to charge it up now to 13 something i don't know exactly what number it charges it up to but anyways we're gonna also go ahead and clean this lid as you can see there's a little rust on there so what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and clean that all up at the uh, airline and all that use the hammer knock some of that uh, rust off of there and then i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the rest of the paint that i had left there i'm gonna paint this as well I know a paint doesn't stick very well but I think on that one I had put two coats on it and I wasn't moving really fast I was moving a little slow <laughs> so I think what we're going to do with this one is we're going to move a little faster and maybe that will just one coat and that's it you know and I think that will dry a little bit quicker so let's go ahead and get that taken care of guys as we uh, finished all uh, changing the batteries and stuff like that I decided to uh, go ahead and paint this lid as well it's starting to dry now a little bit I think my mistake on the box was I put two coats of uh, paint on there and I don't think that's a good idea. You got to be really careful too that you don't overlay it too much you know, and it starts getting bubbling up like that and it takes a long time for it to dry. But the sun is nicely out there today so I figured well let's put this out here and let it dry all day long. It's already, I've already painted it from underneath too. It was uh, a little rusty there as I showed you earlier. And I also went ahead and cha painted this bracket up here. It was really rusty too. And this is the bracket that will actually hold down my batteries. And it's also a good idea to drain your uh, air compressor every once in a while. As you can see, that's all the soot that was in water that was inside of there. And uh, usually they got like a plug right there. I opened that one. I already had done that one. I decided ah, I'll go ahead and do that one too. I think I can close that now. It's got a little screw like that screw it back in there every air compressor has that and uh, it would be a good idea to do that almost every time you use it to uh, go ahead and uh, and uh, release all the water out of there because otherwise it's gonna rust from the inside out and then all of a sudden your air tank could blow up so that couldn't be a good idea just make sure it's nice and tight in there I think I tightened this one up already too so that one is nice and tight so there we go that's nice and tight and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring the batteries back I have already loaded them back into the van you can see my batteries are all hooked up and we're just gonna let the cover and all of that dry a little bit and then uh, we'll be uh, doing some other stuff see I got all my batteries here in the van we're gonna take them back we got about 25 bucks a piece back that's what they told me yesterday and uh, yeah that bracket that I was telling you about goes on the edge right over here on the batteries and it kind of holds holds the batteries in place eh? so uh, yeah I don't know how we're gonna do it on these ones these ones have a little bit of a different lip I think you can see it doesn't have the cut in over here let me see how the other ones are I think they're a little different let me have a look yeah see these ones are a little different you see the edge so a little different here in the end hmm well we'll figure it out later I guess if nothing else we'll have to take the grinder and just cut the little piece off of there that ain't gonna hurt the batteries this is just basically to uh, to grab the batteries and basically lift them up anyways I could probably just take a knife even and just cut it but I might have to go get my grinder or something like that and just grind it off a little bit so I can and and basically what that is is uh, these bolts they come up to here and then that cover goes right on the edge over here and it just basically holds down the battery so they can't go nowhere right but anyways it's a busy day today we got her all hooked up that's right we got everything uh, the way we wanted it I put this plate back on here this is what I was talking about earlier 
I didn't actually have to cut anything I was able to these bolts were just long enough to where I could actually put it over the edge there as you can probably see so now that's holding down the batteries and now I put that uh, uh, corrosion spray on there everywhere on all of these connections and I got the uh, proper connection hook up there now for the air horn so you can see that wire right there is uh, for that air horn so let's give that a blast and let's have a look at it as you guys know I got my button right there so that's my horns let's give it a honk whoa that is loud guys oh yeah I love it <laughs> I just gotta blow it every once in a while and that sounds good i'm telling you guys so i kind of painted that one a little bit too that uh that bar that goes across the batteries there just to be on the safe side and as i told you guys earlier i cleaned this all up put got as much rust off of here as i could and repainted it and it's beautiful sunshine now so the paint is actually drying pretty good i'm impressed with this lid here that it's drying as nice as it is so anyways we got to go for a drug test this afternoon quarter after one a uh, penner has just called me and told me i got an appointment for a drug test so which we don't have to worry about we're gonna gonna pass that that's no problem so we'll go ahead and clean up our tools here and then uh We'll go for a drug test. It's later in the day and it's time to get the lawn mower out and cut some grass, eh? What do you say there, boy? Yeah. Yeah? You want to go get the grub garbage bags and now we'll fill up these uh, garbage bags with this garbage. <laughs> there you go, guys. We got the lawn all cut over here. Looking nice again. Yeah, them leaves are starting to fall off already. Yeah, that's right. But anyways, we're done with cutting the lawn. Alrighty guys, everybody else is going to bed. So I figured, well, may as well finish off the show today. <laughs> Just had me a nice shower. Kids are all gone to bed and all that good stuff. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog on uh, how we changed our battery box and the batteries and all of that good stuff. We cut the lawn. It's been a very, very busy day. And we do have a load going out tomorrow, going to North Carolina. That's at least what I've been told. So we'll see if that actually happens. But uh, hey, that's the plan as of right now. So stick around for that journey. We haven't been to North Carolina in for a long time. I don't even know if I've been in North Carolina since I've had my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and go down there with me, guys. Don't go nowhere. We'll be back tomorrow morning.